We all know you need to be a disciplined person to be productive and achieve your goals. But why do the people who otherwise have the most undisciplined lives manage to outwork us and make a ton of progress while we stay stuck in place? As we uncover the reason, you'll learn about the mistake that all unsuccessful people make that stops them from achieving their full potential and I'll share all the strategies that no one talks about on YouTube which you can use to fix that mistake and stay motivated every single day to finally get on the path to success. So how are lazy guys who often go out and drink, who eat junk food every day and who don't even go to the gym more successful than us? It can be that they're more disciplined than us, right? They don't even work out. Although they seem like they don't really put in any effort into their life, when it comes to their work, they all secretly have something in common, an unfair advantage. All of us on self-improvement constantly obsess about discipline. But imagine if we were motivated to work every single day. Growing a business would be much easier, right? This is the reality of every successful guy you know. Even if they don't have the discipline to work out as hard as us or eat as clean as us, they are still able to work at least twice as much as we do. That's because they have a deep motivation to work that sticks around every single day. And the way you obtain this advantage yourself is by becoming dissatisfied with where you are. Now you might click off and think this is BS. I already am dissatisfied, I really want to get that 10k a month. And this is the mistake that you probably didn't even know you made. You think you want to become successful, when in reality you haven't made that clear to your brain yet. If you don't spend every second of the day thinking of how you can achieve it, and you don't work all day, then it simply means you don't want that 10k a month bad enough. You are fine with going through the whole school system, getting a degree, then working some job you don't even like, that pays slightly more than minimum wage. That actually doesn't sound too bad, right? And you wonder why you aren't working on your business? It's because you don't really have to. You can always get a regular job, then quit the gym because you don't have any time for it, get fat and marry a six. If even the thought of this pisses you off, then you know you really have to do something about it. You have to become dissatisfied. It is the only way to stay motivated every day and work like your life depends on it, because it does. The first actionable step you can take to become dissatisfied is to open the notes app and write down all the problems you currently have, specifically because you haven't achieved your goal. You want to make 10k a month. Write all the things you cannot currently do because you don't have that money coming in. You are eating shit cheap food. Your parents still work jobs they hate. You can't afford fashionable clothes that would increase your status. You don't have a fun life to bring girls into, even if you tell yourself you don't care about women. Just write down as many drawbacks to not hitting your goal as you can think of. After you have your list, you are ready for step 2. Now you want to write down all the ways achieving your goal would improve your life. Think of all the things you will buy when you get to 10k a month and how your life would look like. You will be able to buy high quality organic food, buy your first car, retire your parents, buy the clothes you like, take girls on awesome dates and pay for them. Try to write at least 20 advantages of reaching your goal. Next you are gonna read the two lists every single day, so the consequences of your actions get engraved into your head. The purpose of this is to simply remind yourself that you want more out of life. You either work hard and reap all the benefits, or you keep procrastinating and continue living the same shit life. The third step to becoming dissatisfied is to reverse engineer it. Think about how you become satisfied. You consume content from people who are the same as you and who don't want more out of life. You hang around guys who have the same life as you and who don't have any ambitious goals. So how do you become dissatisfied? You do exactly the opposite. You watch the content of people who've got more than you. You surround yourself with guys who've got big goals and want to have more than you. And the best part is you can use the same principle with any goal you might have, like building a muscular body or learning to attract girls. Simply write your two lists, read them every day and carry it your social circle and the media you consume. Once you stop feeling content with your life, you will begin to take things seriously and become motivated to work on your objectives for hours on end. But just being willing to work won't bring you the success you want. So click on this video to learn how to optimize your day and ensure you reach your goals.